In every discovery, there is trial and there is error. There is experimentation and there is failure. And sometimes we're just plain wrong. Even the best discoveries come from an idea that's really spaced out. Science is ever evolving. As we discover new things, old antiquated thinking falls away. Comets crashing to Earth time? Destruction of life as we know it? Scientific views of a comet's nucleus branded it as a solid several miles wide, dirty snowball that may have even been the force that brought water to our planet. But missions into a comet suggest that the nucleus may be more like lumps of layers, kind of like paper mache. And it may have been harder to get Earth's water from comets than we first thought. Comets generally make an elliptical orbit, which results in a warm and cold period. The warm part of the cycle occurs when comets make their close, fast loop near the sun. During this warm period, comets break down the ice in their nucleus, which trails off and creates the tail we see in the night sky. It's important to realize that life on Earth first appeared about 4,000 million years ago, as our planet was being severely bombarded by comets and asteroids. So let's think about the comet structure like a paper mache model. Certainly not perfectly round in shape, and each thin, lumpy, irregular layer of paper is like a small layer of ice or rock. As the comet melts, it goes through its layers at a varying rate. Once a layer of ice melts off, then a dust layer is freed. Then another layer of ice must melt before the dust flies again. As they approach the sun, they melt more easily, and the irregular melting further misshapes the nucleus. So the shape of a comet is constantly changing then with every revolution around the sun. If we ever find out those old crazies on the street corners were right about the whole end is near thing and a comet is careening perilously towards our planet, we are gonna have to change our plan of action. Not gonna be able to solve our comet problems the way we've been solving our Earth problems for years. You know, by blowing things up. Because of the layered structuring, a debilitating explosion to the surface of a comet would just send massive sheets of rock toward our planet's surface. That would be downright inconvenient. So much for saving the planet. Instead, we'd be bombarded by a rocky rainstorm that would likely wipe out most of civilization in the comet's danger zone. In addition to rethinking our evasive strategies, this new information about comet structure potentially debunks the old theory about Earth's water coming from collisions with comets. <laughs> Everything debunked. But comets do have a lot of water in their nuclei. Yes, but the process of releasing the water from a comet that strikes Earth, considering how close we are to the sun, is much more difficult to fathom now. The water from a comet would likely evaporate before it reaches a distance where the water could enter our outer atmosphere and make its way down to our surface. Well, our discussion puts the whole Earth got water from comets theory into, well, question. At least from big colliding comets. But there is a new theory that H2O is falling all the time from microcomets. But that's another story for another time. That's what we call Spaced Out!